in distribution, the most important metric is the number of repeats okay. from the retailers. From, so the retailers. from the retailers, right. yes, yes. Say so for it. example, today if you have placed your product in 20 retail counters, how many of them are buy, coming and buying again in the next month? So if that number is healthy, you have a healthy distribution base. Correct. If your sales number is increasing, but it is increasingly coming from adding new retailers, that then means that is not it's healthy. a bubble that is going to burst right. in 6 months, 12 months or 18 months. So even today, say for example, we are just starting our offline distribution for mixers. We are doing the exact same thing. Right. We will be present in 40 counters. My job would be to ensure sell out from those counters and oh. get repeat from those counters. Once I get the repeat increasing from 40 to 400 and increasing from 1 city to 100 cities. It's a work it's time a kind very of a easy, problem. It's a very True. easy thing to do. It's a very repeatable model. But till the time I crack the model, if I try and keep on expanding, just look at my top line number saying I need to do this much. So let's, let me build 2-3 more distributors. Let me open 100 more counters. I am bound to fail. And unfortunately, many, many brands in the wake of chasing revenue. This, this is a very, very good clarity to yeah, give. Yeah. Repeat buying from retailers yes, is yes, like yes. that North Star metric. That is the only metric. <laughs>